Hello YouTube, it's your friend Crystal coming to you from Ball Black Girl Chronicles. <sighs> Welcome to my YouTube channel. If this is your first time visiting, I sure do appreciate you visiting and I hope you enjoy my content. And by the end of this video, hopefully you've already liked it, you've already subscribed, and you've already hit that bell notification so that you are made aware of the next time I upload a new YouTube video. For those of you who are returning, I sure appreciate you coming on back. Uh, thank you so much. If you haven't already done so, hit that subscribe button and that bell notification and come back and see me sometime, okay? What am I talking about today? Well, today, um, I, you know, I was thinking about this. So I have not uploaded. I made several videos. I made several videos, but I have not uploaded. Um, I haven't uploaded them because I looked a mess, girl. But I got to upload them though, because I mean, I went shopping. You know, you got to up upload them shopping video videos um because i wanted to share what i bought on my shopping trip i went and visited a friend in mississippi and uh on my way and on my way back i stopped a couple places um uh, and i found a couple things that i should have kept i mean i should have left <laughs> I should have left, but I didn't. And then when I got back, so if you, I'll upload this video. So then when I got back, I had all these packages. And I'm glad I beat my husband back home before um, before he got home. I, I came home first, so he didn't get a chance to see all my little packages. And I say they was little packages, because they were. Um, but it was a lot of them. And little don't mean cheap, though. Keep that in mind. Anywho, so... Um, I've only been on YouTube for a little while. Um, it says, I think my, you know, last when I did my official YouTube videos or whatever, it, it has to be about three weeks, four weeks. So it's been almost a month since I've been on YouTube, but one of my videos got more traction than the other. Um, and that was about discussing hair, you know, me being bald, specifically, um, shaving my head as a bald black woman. Um, it has gotten a lot of um, a lot of traction and I was surprised uh, but then I thought about it and I'm like why are you surprised I know a lot of women who suffer and I'm speaking specifically for african-american women but um, this is not just for african-american women because I'm assuming you know I, a lot of Caucasian women suffer from hair loss too speaking of which so for those of you who don't know, I do run um, my own little online resale boutique on um, Poshmark and eBay. You can find me on Poshmark, which is my primary um, uh, avenue, uh, as Seven Love Souls. That's the number seven, L-O-V-E-S-O-L-E-S. -E -E um, so I'm got, I, I got too much going on. I got a new job. So now I don't have as much lead. I'm no longer a woman of leisure. I got to work for a living. Anywho, I still do my, um, I still do my, uh, reselling on the side because I don't have time to do it during regular day no more. Uh, so I do that and then I have to run to the post office and drop off, uh, my packages. So one day I was running to the post office to drop off my packages and I mean, I had like 30 seconds. I mean, I, I mean, I was like, oh, I got to get these to the post office because these people been waiting for these things and, um. So I'm gonna run in and run out. Well, the one day I'm rushing, 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 this lady stopped me on my way out. And I felt bad because I knew I felt like I was rushing her uh, because I was, because I was only on my little video break. Because when you work for a living and you're in the middle of training, you ain't, you ain't got a lot of time. So um, she stopped me and she said, this is all she said and I knew what she was talking about. She said, red table talk? That's what she said, right? <laughs> And she was a Caucasian lady too. She had this cute, I, I, if I had more time, I would have got her name because she had this hat on, um, this knit or crocheted hat with this knit or crocheted poncho on. Um, and uh, she, when she said red table talk and I said, yeah, I've heard about it. I did not see it. I have not seen it. 
but I've heard people mention it to me. And then she immediately took off her, her hat, um, which was kind of like a skull cap, um, a knit like skull cap or whatever. So she took it off and sure enough, she was thinning. Um, and you could see it and then, and then I asked her alopecia and then she said yes. And, um, and then I was like, well, n you know, no, I've been bald for, you know, over seven years now. And she said, really? And I said, yes, I have. Um, and um, I also suffer from alopecia. And, um, and we talked a little bit. Like I said, I was rushing because I only, I, I, number one, uh, I didn't have that much time to talk to her. But I felt really bad about that because I would have loved to hear a story. I love to hear people's story about... Um, their, their journey with uh, suffering from hair loss. And then I also like to, um, to give um, any words of encouragement that I can give, because I'm a proud black, I mean, I'm a proud bald woman. You know, if you see me with a hat on, it's because my head cold. It ain't because I'm, or because I done went God knows how long from shaving my head and it probably look a mess or something. But other than that, I am, there's no shame in my baldness and um i know there's still women and she was older than i am and i'm almost i'm not quite 50 yet but not that far she must have been on the other side of 50 um maybe um and i don't know she, it, we live in the south girl one that hot i mean it wasn't that cold yet for her to have a hat on her head so maybe it's i don't know you know again i didn't get a chance to explore that and i wish i did um but I'm, uh, so that's what I experienced. I experienced people stopping me, and it was funny because, again, going back to the, um, it's not just a black woman thing, and it's not just a white woman thing. Or I don't know, does Hispanic women suffer from hair loss? That I don't know because I only know from what I've been around, and I that's black women that I've been around who have suffered <clears throat> from hair loss even when I was younger where they were wearing wigs all the time. I mean, you'd never see them without they wig. They, I mean, they, they woke up and it was like, um, it was like brushing your teeth. You put your wig on and that you got your hair on. It was like a hat, you know, that kind of thing. Um, so I guess, uh, but I, again, this is not just for, you know, black women, but I'm, I'm talking because I am a black woman who happens to be bald. So, uh, uh, I don't know. Where am I going with this video? I thought that was funny uh, that she stopped and she was like, Red Table Talk, because I know that um, people have been shared that Jada Pickett Smith recently cut her hair off, and I know Tiffany Haddish had done it. Oh, this is what I was saying. So, um, being bald in a woman is not something new. Think about some of the bald women you knew. You remember Sinead O'Connor? Oh, you remember that video where she was like, she was crying in that video? You know what that song was? I love that song, but she was beautiful and bald. Uh, Grace Jones, girl, you talking about fierce and bald. Get out of here. Um, and then who else? Um, G.I. Jane, what was her name that did? I don't, I don't remember her name. The white lady who did G.I. Jane. She was pretty and bald too. Tyra Banks, when I used to watch uh, The Next Top Model, she would sometimes have these, and I'm assuming they didn't cut all their hair off. She would put these little bald skull cap thingies on them, and they look beautiful. But, you know, um, it's some beautiful women out here that are bald, and I tell you, I'm seeing it more and more where we are what I call unapologetically bald. I do not apologize for being bald. If I had my rathers, of course, I'd rather a head full of hair. Um, but I'm balding. I, I, I'm thinning. And I call my bald, my type of balding is what I call male pattern, male pattern baldness. So if you take a look at that, and the best way I describe it is think about uh, Uncle Phil on the Fresh Prince of Bel Air. You remember Uncle Phil? God rest his soul. Um, he has no hair here, I think is what it was. He was like bald here and then he had hair here. That's what mine looked like. My hair is thick as all get out. You know, thick as all get out right here. But then right here, here it's bald, period. I mean, it's, it's most of the time it's just clean bald. But here it's just thinning. It's just thin. So you can tell how light it is and, and um, how hair follicles are slowly closing more and I'm 
kind of glad I'm going I, I cut it all off before just poof pile went gone but um so that that's what I call mine is the male pattern baldness so when I did my video about uh, cutting my hair it's because I do have a lot of hair here I said I should be like the Donald you know who the Donald is um, um, 45 president 45 um, I should be like the Donald let my hair grow back and then I should swoosh it to the front like this and, and I could be a, I have a lot of hair up there girl but that takes a lot of work and sister don't do work see that's the other thing so um, I'm unapologetically bald but I see some bad wigs and I'm not against wigs and I don't think it's anything wrong with um bald women who wear wigs um i would say wear wig because you want something different don't wear it because you're ashamed of your baldness but it's not for me to judge that's just a hope for women who are dealing with baldness because it is scary it's scary being a woman and bald and i know the first thing people say if i had a head like yours um <clears throat> If I had a head like yours, I wouldn't be afraid of going bald either. I said, what, a bald head? Because my head ain't perfect, girl. I got a big old dip right here. I, um, I'm um, i a twin. So I said, that's when my brother had his foot on my head, is what I said. You had your foot on my head right there because it's flat right there. You know, I'm just perfectly, uh, perfectly imperfect. I mean, I am. It's just, it is who God made us, right? Um, and he said at the end of making everything he made, he said, and it is good. That's what he said. And I, I like to believe that that it would include me in all my imperfections. Um, I'm still good. Hence the reason why I'm just like, I'm bald. Oh, well, deal with it. Um, did I do anything differently when I got bald, when I went bald? Yeah, I did. I went all out, girl. I had these gray, big old earrings. And I still have them. I'm getting ready to list them for sale on my Poshmark page at Seven Love Souls. Bamboo earrings. Pretty earrings. Never worn, girl. Then I ended up trying to do, um, I don't know. I mean, just a lot of jewelry. I had found some beautiful pieces. Um, big pieces, bulky pieces, because I felt like that's what I had to do. I did want to do um, more holes in my ear, which I'm getting ready to do now. But when I first mentioned that, my husband was like, no, you're trying to do too much. You don't need all that, is what he said. Um, he's like, you're beautiful. You're beautiful, beautiful. And even when I talk about putting on a wig, he's like, why? I was like, because I want to be Sasha Fierce or something. I don't know. Uh, but he's like, you're beautiful. I, I don't know how I feel about it. You ain't know how you felt about me being bald either, husband. Then you loved it. You ain't know how you felt about me getting locks when I got my locks. But then you loved that too. So you get used to it if I just decide to do a wig. <clears throat> I just don't do them because a sister lazy. A sister don't, I mean, I watch the YouTube videos and these be some bad. And I do mean good, bad bad wigs these young ladies be putting on their head and they have it looking oh my land i'd be like this is i have to go to a beautician because <clears throat> i've never been a hair person so i know i'd be then foo barred it up so um <clears throat> so when i first uh cut all my hair off i did i wore a lot of um big jewelry bold jewelry um I always wore lipstick. This is always the color that I wore, but I did start to wear eye more eye makeup, like the eyeshadow and the like. Um, always wore eyeliner, but I had started adding the eyeshadows and you know the colors to my eyes there. Um, definitely went to get my eyebrows done. I'm like, I'm bald now. My face is all open. When you're bald, your face is open, right? They can see every pimple, every blemish, every whatever. You ain't got you ain't got nothing to hide. Uh, all you. So I would always go and get my eyebrows done too. And I have to tell them, look, lady, uh, d I, I wouldn't say it like that, but that's what I'd be thinking. I'm like, um, just to clean up, please don't make it thin because you see I don't have any hair. I, I don't want to be bald head and bald faced. So um, I would do that. Um, I had started getting my nails done, my feet done. I over, what I call it, over feminizing myself, you know, so with the fear of, um, thinking that people wouldn't realize I was a woman. Um, my husband's like, if they think you're other than what you are, 
it's their their thing not your thing he's like because you all woman he's like you got the hips and then i won't tell you what else he said but he's not vulgar so it wasn't vulgar he's like you got the shape of a woman you got the facial features of a woman if they mistake you for anything other than that's their stuff not yours so don't claim it to be yours and that's a cliff no version of what he said um <clears throat> So I did all of that. I did the earrings at first. I did the the bulky jewelry, the eye makeup, um, the attire. I definitely, like I said, over feminized it. That's where I picked up pink because I never was a pink person, but I started to do the pinks and the yellows and all of that um, to make sure that I looked like a female. As I got, the more, the longer I had my hair bald, the less time I want to put into all of that. And it just felt unnatural. Like I, now you see, I, what do I have? I have a, stud, a diamond stud and I have some diamond hoops. These little earrings, I never take out. I don't change earrings. Um, Cause this is, a, this is how I've always been. And this is what I would say to you all. Sometimes we can go, cause I did add some things like I, now I love when I'm going out, I love having the extra eye makeup. It just gives my eyes a, just another look. So I love that. I love the fact that I added color. So I did go over and overboard um, when I first cut it off to the point where I felt like I needed to make sure that I look like a girl. Um, <clears throat> And then I toned it down uh, to something that was manageable. Yeah, I'll get my nails done. I just don't now here because I haven't found a nail tech. I've been here in the, in the South for uh, a little over a year and I haven't found a nail tech that I'm happy with. So I'm not doing the nails at this time. But the feet, I love all of these things I picked up because of, um, you know, being bald and wanting to be um, more feminine. Uh, now it's not about being feminine. I just love the way it looks on me. I love the, you know, the way I feel when I have these things on. Um, but I don't do the bulky jewelry anymore. Always a pearl girl, so I just do my pearls and I have an array of pearls. So, you know, I guess what I would say for those of you who are thinking about that and wondering, you know, what should I do? You know, you try a lot of different things until you find something that you are comfortable with, that you can live with, that is not something that um, pulls you outside of who you are. Uh, I, yeah, I, I like me. 